Hey, Bella Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, you guys, it is time for This Is My Bolo. And what is This Is My Bolo? That is where I invite my Bolo Buddies YouTube members to make a 60 second or less video sharing a bolo with you guys, an item to be on the lookout for, an item you can hopefully in the future buy low and sell high. In this video, they are gonna tell you where they got it, what they paid for it, and what it sold for. It's not me telling you. They're going to tell you. These channels are amazing. Be sure to go down to the description and click on those channels and subscribe. But before we get started, I'm going to show you my bolo. This is my bolo. How incredible is this? And you may have seen this in a past video. Um, it took a little while to sell. I bought it over the summer at a garage sale. I had no clue what it was, <laughs> um, but I was able to figure it out. It is, I'm going to read my um, uh, title for you. Antique Vintage Gold Filled Mother of Pearl Parasol Umbrella Handle 19th Century. Look how cool it is. So it's just the handle. And I sold this for $100 best offer and the buyer paid shipping. So they were all in for $120 and 46 cents. And I paid drum roll $2 at a garage sale. All right, you guys, let's check out these bolos. Hey, bolo buddies. Thanks for watching. Amazing, right? All right, let's get started. Hey, Bolo Buddies. My name is Abigail. I have a YouTube channel where I go sourcing, do a little bit of vlogging, and I always do a big haul at the end. So you should catch at least one because they're a lot of fun. And today I'm coming to you with a My Bolo. So I had stopped at this antique mall and I saw this lady who was working on her case. And in the case, she had this little medallion. And right away, I was really interested interested in it. It looked like cement to me and it looked like um, Julius Caesar, um, very Greek. And the minute she told me that she had bought it from a lady who had, had brought a bunch of stuff back from France, I automatically said, I will buy that. I listed it. It wasn't even listed a week and it sold for $74 on Etsy. Hey guys, I am literally in my eBay closet right now. And before I forget, I wanted to do This Is My Bolo. All right, so This Is My Bolo. I found this Lisa Frank um, Buzz the Bumblebee at the bins. Was the last thing I came across and I picked it up and I was like, oh my gosh, it's Lisa Frank. So, I bought them and I put them on auction and obviously it did really great. So thanks for watching. My channel is Stellar Stellar Sam on YouTube and it'd be great if you guys would give me a follow and do not forget to pick up that Lisa Frank plush. See ya. Hi everybody, I'm Kathleen Thrifty and I'm a full-time reseller here in Albuquerque, New Mexico, but born and raised in Ohio. Been out here a long time though. I sell on eBay, Poshmark, and Macari, and I go as Cat Filling Thrifty on all three platforms. But enough about me, we're here to talk about my bolo, which is Cutco. So I buy a lot of my stuff on online auctions here locally, as well as physical auctions. And I spotted this box on one of the online ones. It was full of utensils, dirty, grimy, um, put a bid in, of, I think it was 20 bucks, won it, brought the box home, and sure enough, they were Cutco, as well as the hanger was in there, and a couple other Cutco items. My husband helped me clean these up. The handles turned out beautiful. I cleaned up the stainless steel on them, and I listed them for $98, and they sold in a couple weeks, and I got the price I was asking for. So if you don't know about Cutco, keep an eye out. I've sold a lot of it. I even sold a broken knife for about $24 not too long ago. And I hope this gave you some information. And I do buy a lot of stuff from Donatella Badalino and from Options for You, both on Whatnot and on uh, YouTube. And I buy things from Bolo Buddies. And of course, Courtney, as always, thank you so much for all you do for everybody. You are awesome and you are special. Thanks, everybody. Have a great day. Hi everyone, I'm Sarah, also known as Childhood Finds on YouTube and eBay and 
pretty much everything else. Uh, today, my bolo is this antique pie crust frame. I got this for free from my mother-in-law, but I have sold others in the past. This one is a, it's a 10 by 16 that it would fit. And it's likely 1880s to 1920s, roughly. And I sold it for $175. It sold in about 12 hours. The big thing when you look at pie crusts, you're going to look at these corners. These are hand sculpted out of a material called gesso. And it starts with a just basic wooden frame. And then they would sculpt this onto it. So this is more than just a frame. It's a piece of art, and this is my bolo. Hi, bolo buddies. It's Wendy from Nina's Jewels. My bolo for the month of February is window cleans. Believe it or not, these inexpensive items sell really well. We pick these up doing retail arbitrage, and we get them on clearance, like 75 or 90% off, and then we sell them throughout the year at full price. So we just make a few dollars on each sale, but the money is in volume on these. We discovered this by accident when picking these up on clearance one time, and we're surprised at how well they sold. They were just kind of flying out of our store. The next time we saw them at a clearance sale at a retail store, we picked them up again and they sold just as well. So we started picking them up every time we saw them on clearance and also in the Goodwill bins, and they have always sold well for us. So there's just a tip for you guys there, something to look out for when you're shopping. Check out our YouTube channel, Nina's Jewels, and check us out on eBay, Instagram, and Facebook. Hey, Bolo Buddies, I'm Sandra, also known as Piece of Scrap on eBay and YouTube. I'm here with my Bolo, and it is a Lose Specialties Baby Infant Dress. Now this does have the inner lining full of lace and ruffles. I picked these up at a church sale for less than $1. They were part of a bag sale and they sold for hundreds of dollars. I listed the dresses separately and they sold to the same buyer within one week of listing. After running sold comparisons, I priced them high at over $500 each, and yes, one sold for $315, and the other one sold for $450 plus shipping. Again, I'm Sandra, Piece of Scrap on YouTube. Subscribe for more What Sold on eBay. Hi again. My name is Rebel, and I'm the Rebel Reseller, and today I wanted to share a This Is My Bolo. I was pleasantly surprised this morning when I woke up to a sale on Poshmark. Um, if you don't know me, I sell a whole lot of plush, but usually it's bread and butter. But last night, this sold on Poshmark um, for $135. It is a Funko Five Nights at Freddy Purple Nightmare Bonnie Rabbit plush from 2016. Thanks. Hello everybody, my name is Sandra. The name of my YouTube channel is The Funky Pickle Thrifter. My bolo is jewelry. I'm gonna put some of my most recent sales on the screen for you to have a look at. I buy jewelry in the wild, mostly at yard sales and thrift stores. I don't usually pay more than a dollar or two. We talk about jewelry a lot on my channel. So if you wanna sell jewelry and you're really not sure what to look for, I hope you come over and check it out. All right, thank you so much. Thanks Courtney for the opportunity, I appreciate it. I hope to see you over there, cheers. Hey guys, my name is Tanya, and I'm just a girl that makes a living thrifting, and my bolo for y'all this time is hair conditioner. If you have ever colored your own hair, it always comes with a conditioner to put in your hair afterwards. I know that the L'Oreal conditioners are a bolo. My last set of five is going out today. So here it is right here. I have sold all the other ones that I've had. On eBay, I sold one lot of five for $32.98. I sold a lot of four for 25. And on Poshmark, I sold five lots of five at $28 each. So I only paid $9 for all of those and I turned that $9 into 198 bucks. If you want to see some more bolos, come hang out on my channel, Double T's Treasures. We'll see you there. Have a great day, y'all. 
Hey everyone, my name is Crystal. My YouTube channel is Vintage Booth Pro, where I talk about all things good and bad about having a vintage booth. Um, so hop over and join me if you've ever thought about it or if you have one, and I would love to hear your thoughts. But I also have an online store, mostly on eBay. Um, I do cross list sometimes, but I'm not that great at it. But this one, I didn't even have time to cross list. Um, I found this at Goodwill. It is a very big um, bag by the brand Free People. I found it in the travel section at my local Goodwill. Um, you know where all the suitcases are. That's where I found it, it was $7.99. I posted it online for $75 and I took an offer for $62. It was listed um, maybe two days. So that's my bullet for the month. I would love for you to join me over on my YouTube channel. And um, thank you, Courtney. Hey there, I'm Danielle. I like to sell vintage stuff on the internet and I have a YouTube channel all about it. All right, say hello to my sale of the week, you guys. I wanted you to see it before I get it shipped out here. I'm working on it right this moment, but I picked this up for $75 at an indoor sale about a month ago and just sold it yesterday for 450 bucks. It's got inlay all the way around in the wood. Really super sharp. It's got a couple flaws on it, but overall this piece is really beautiful and I couldn't be happier to be sending it out to New York tomorrow. Hey, it's Rhonda with Got Junk in Our Trunk, and I've got another bolo for you. I've been doing a whole lot of cleaning out lately. I've got one 10 by 20 storage left out of six when I <laughs> took my thrift store and put it into storage when I closed it a couple of years ago. As you can see, I've got a whole lot of things that are going on, and I've been moving things around. Some things are in my garage as far as a death pile, and so I've been finding a lot of things in there that I knew were in there, but I hadn't had listed. I listed this item right here, and I sold it for $150. A lot of these are made a little bit differently, but this is Macho Man Randy Savage, for those of you that are not wrestling fans. Um, he did kind of a promotional for them, and they just kind of took off on it and did all different type of containers. And a lot of them will list for anywhere from like $100 to $300 a piece. Depends on how limited the run was or anything like that. I actually sold this one to a friend of mine, so I gave him a friends and family discount. Again, this is my bolo. Look for them out there. You never know when a store might be breaking down. I actually got this one from a map code. See you later. Happy junkin'. Hey Bolo Buddies, this is Jody from Toy Addict and this is my Bolo. This is Richie. Richie was made by the Mego Toy Corporation in the 70s and he's basically an action figure of your creepy uncle. He's got flocked hair and sideburns, and he has a bunch of really interesting outfits, like this one that's called Fantastic Fringe. That's a fringe vest. I also found two other outfits of his. I found Wild and Wooly and Snow King. All the outfits have interesting titles. He has 12 outfits to choose from. I have a video over on my channel that shows you all of his outfits and talks about the doll and a little bit of what to look for for Richie so you can find him when you're out there searching. I bought these for $10 each and I sold the first two for $65 each and this one is listed for the same price. Go to my channel and check that out if you get a chance. Thanks for watching guys and thank you Courtney. Bye. Hi, everybody. This is Amber from Picker Money Flipper, eBay and YouTube. And my two cool finds are a Howler's Brother long sleeve pearl snap shirt. Paid $5 for it. It sold for $70 and $7.95 to ship. My next cool item, my husband bought these Philips MP3 players. Bought a whole box for $15. $13 sold for a total of $605. $50 average sell. Thanks for coming. Hi everyone, this is Lynn from Halen Vintage and I want to take a minute to introduce myself real quick. I usually sell vintage items, but if I find something that I can flip for a profit pretty quickly, you bet I'm going to pick it up. But I do also want to say that I do have a YouTube channel, so please check it out. I am trying to get to my first thousand subscribers. I would really appreciate that. I also do live sales both on Instagram and on YouTube, so please check those out if you can. And with that being said, I want to real quick show you my bolos. So my first bolo is this sash. I did pick up two of these from my Goodwill. 
They were $4.99. The first one sold within 48 hours for $98. I did have it listed for $112 and I took an offer. The other thing I want to say is don't pass up those yarn buckets. I bought one for $11.99 and I made $107. Those are my Olos. Thank you. Hi guys. <clears throat> Farm Girl Scavenger here with my bolo and just wanted to tell Courtney thank you. I will also put this video on my channel. My bolo for February is stickers. I have a video on stickers. If you go to my channel, I'll put a link up there. Um, <clears throat> but I sold and I'm going to show you right here. The first one I sold was a vintage 1984 Hallmark sticker, holographic, rainbow heart, and it sold for $17.07 all in. Oh boy, I didn't plan this very well. My second one is Sandy Lion. Sandy Lion prismatic stickers, and it was a lot and I sold them for $28.70 all in. And my third one is Sandy Lion Mother of Pearl stickers, and it was a lot. And I sold them for $33.47. But what I want you to know is, I sold all of these stickers within 18 hours of listing them. The Sandy Lion ones I sold within four hours, the next ones within 11 hours, and the next one less than less than 12 hours so stickers are my bolo there's the link to the video farm girl scavenger thank you so much for watching and have a great day bye hello this is here with flipping it good my bolo today are cleats so football cleats soccer cleats baseball cleats all cleats they sell really well um, every time you go to the discounted store, check for cleats, research the price. So um, right now they're selling like crazy. These are soccer cleats. I found them. I found them at a discounted store. I found them at Ross. Let's see, so and I paid nineteen ninety nine for these. They just sold on Poshmark for one hundred and thirty plus shipping. So these are elite. In this case, these are soccer. If you see ACC, that means it's an elite soccer cleat. And the, it's one of the high tiers for Nike. So, yeah, cleats, they sell really well. So, yeah, see you guys. Hey, Courtney, it's Mary here with the Merchants. And I have a bolo for you. You're looking at antique Cracker Jack toys. I got a whole baggie of them, the snack bag size at a local auction and I had probably 50 at the time and this is all I have left. Over the last year or so, they have sold between $7 and $20 a piece. I wanted to show you what to look out for. So this guy right here is one from the 1920s. He has a metal eyelet here. They are celluloid. Some of them, like this dog, will have the plastic on it instead of the metal ring. And these two just sold, this one sold for seven something and this one sold for eight something, I believe. Oftentimes we can miss these because if they are in the bottom of the bins, they might be hard to find. So keep your eyes out because they're good money. If you can get a bunch of them, they're easy to ship, easy to store, easy to list. Which one's your favorite? Hi everybody, my name is Jerry and I'm the Jersey Shore Thrifter. This is my bolo. Before I show it to you, however, i got to tell you the story because that's what I do. My wife and I were at an estate sale, privately run. A lot of good finds at that estate sale. The person whose house it was collected license plates, among many other things, and also was a member of the local Elks Club. So consequently, I found a pair of these license plates. The New Jersey Shorter Please version of license plate is no longer put out by the state. As far as I know, I think it's discontinued. But in any case, that variation of license plates in New Jersey holds some value 
And of course, vanity plates always do. So I figured, well, the Elks, somebody's going to want this. So I picked up both of them. I paid a dollar for each one. And I listed them both on eBay and Mercari, Facebook Marketplace, locally, of course, because I figured the local Elks club might be interested. Turns out, a woman who I met when I was playing pickleball is the head of the local Elks chapter. So I got to talking with her. I told her what I had. I showed her the pictures. And she bought one. Put it up on the wall at the Elks Club. Sold it for $50. Got cash for it. I can kind of consider it a Facebook marketplace sale, even though it wasn't done through Facebook. In any case, it pays to tell people what you do. Sometimes, actually it really does, pay. Hello, hello, hello. Hi, everyone. T auctions for you. For those of you that don't know me, I am a fellow reseller. I sell on eBay, Poshmark, whatnot, Macari, a little bit on Etsy even, and I do YouTube auctions, and I do that with my friend Donatella Badalino. So come over and see us one of these days when we decide to go live. Anyway, Courtney, thank you so much, as always, for doing this for us. And here is my bolo. And this, guys, when you're out there and you're in the wild looking for stuff, go ahead and find this Department 56 Times Tower Special Edition gift set. This was complete and tested, but it was open and pre-owned. And it worked, and it was awesome. I almost decided to keep it for myself. But we got $195 plus shipping on this, and it was awesome. Thank you, guys. Have a great day. Thanks, Courtney. All right, Bola Buddies. So I was at the Goodwill bins all day today and I just got home and I went to the post office and I picked up some packages. Number one is an item that I got from Rhonda, got junk in our trunk. It's something that I purchased from her. Um, it is so, so cute and I just had to have it. So I'm gonna show you guys that. The next um, thing I'm gonna show you are three items that I bought from, um, Rachel Strickland did a whatnot auction for autism and I purchased three items over there. So I'm gonna show you what I bought. All right, I have an unboxing here of a little item that I purchased from Got Junk in Our Trunk. And she's one of my moderators and I just wanted to go over and support her eBay store. And I bought this cute little owl and it is made in Poland. Is it not the cutest, softest little thing you've ever seen? Oh my goodness, I love it. So I'm working on putting up shelves. Well, I'm, I need my husband to do it for me. And then I'm gonna put this up on my shelf, but I just thought it was so cute. And it looks like she sent me a little goodie extra. It says, the wooden one is a whistle. You can keep it or sell it. So she sent me a little gift here and it is a wood owl and it's a whistle. How cool is that? It's a whistle. It's a whistle. Have you ever seen such thing? Made in Thailand, that's vintage. Also, oh, Rhonda, you didn't have to do that, but I really appreciate it. It's super, super cute. Thank you so much. Have you guys ever seen an owl whistle? I love it. Very cool. So here are my two new additions to my owl collection. All right, so the first item I bought is this incredible Dorothy Wizard of Oz um, handmade blanket. Oh my goodness, it is incredible. So this is the back and then look how cool it is. And she said it's retired fabric, but I just, I loved it and I had to have it. And this comes from Mimi's Treasures and she is over on Instagram and I will link her down below, but she has a link tree. So I, I will either put her link tree down below or I will put her um, Instagram and you guys can go find her. But she sells Wizard of Oz items. So if you're looking for something incredible like this, definitely check her out. Okay, this is the next beauty that I purchased. This is a handmade art piece from Mac Pack Reselling. That is her YouTube channel and her daughter made this. And it has glitter and paint and it's signed right here. So I picked this up as my second item that I'm gonna show you today. And I've got one more to show you guys. So all of the funds for this went to autism and um, Collins on the Move is who it went to. And she, I can't remember the name of the actual foundation, but you guys can check that out. Uh, Collins on the Move, she's on Instagram and YouTube, but um, just an amazing fundraiser. Rachel, I think 
ended up making about $5,000 um, for it. So just incredible. And the last item I got was made by Scott the Cha-Ching King. And if you're not following him on YouTube, you need to follow him as well. So Macpack Reselling on YouTube, Cha-Ching King on YouTube, and Mimi's Treasures on Instagram. And I will link all of them down below. So Scott made this out of wood from a tree. <laughs> I don't remember all the details. And then I think he like pounded this out, hammered it, is that the word? But look how beautiful it is. It's just incredible. He didn't sign it. Scott, you didn't sign it. What are you doing, man? But anyway, if you guys are new to reselling, definitely check out Scott, the Cha-Ching King. He's got a lot of videos that help people that are brand new to eBay, but he is also a mega bolo finder. So go sub him up, sub up Mac Pack Reselling. She's new to YouTube, so go show her some love with a sub. And Mimi's Treasures over on Instagram. Look at this beautiful quilt. Just great little treasures I picked up to support autism. Thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you for watching. What did you think about these bolos? I just love this series because Bolo Buddies members get to come on and they get to show you their personalities. And that is my favorite part is getting to see them do the talking. Now, now that you've seen them all and you've seen their bolos, please go down into the description and click on their YouTube channels and give them a sub. They are all fantastic and amazing and their eBay stores are linked down below. Also, if you want to click on the little heart, you can follow them and you will get updates when they list new items. And if they send out a coupon to their followers, you will also get that. Thank you guys so much for being here. If you like this style of video, let me know down in the comments and thanks for watching.